Hello everyone and welcome back to Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. In the last one, we went back to Kurain. We've got Phoenix, we've got Paolo, we've got Athena, and Edgeworth here too, and Emma's here, and Nayut is somewhere here because we just saw him in the last one. And uh, oh, by the way, Dirk has been arrested for double murder. One that he apparently committed in the last episode by killing Inga, and one for something he did 20 years ago for apparently killing the queen at the time. Well, we're in a bunch of hot water. A bunch of people told me to do this before I move on, so I'm gonna do this before I move on. They said to show Athena the photo of the justice, Joe Justice, Paolo's dad. I've been thinking about that photo. Your father was quite the manly man, Apollo. <laughs> I sense a compliment in there somewhere. Huh? Where'd you get that idea? Oh, uh, never mind. Oh, me. <laughs> never mind what? Uh, nice weather we're having today? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that was awkward. Ah, is there something you wanted to hear me say, Apollo? Look, uh, just forget I said anything, okay? Aw, oh, he wanted to hear that he was also a manly man and very handsome. Well, don't worry, Apollo, you are. And he wanted to hear it from Athena, too. Okay, so I think we have to go now and uh, look at the uh, site of where the incident occurred. I believe that we're allowed to do that, thanks to Mr. Edgeworth. So that would be back in the tomb. So let's go see uh, if we can go there. And maybe Emma will be there, too. Let's take a look. All right. Well, it's dark in here, so that's not good for my eyeballs, but hopefully we can find things. So, this is the tomb of Amara, the previous queen of Kurain. It's really lavish. I guess you could say it's fit for a queen. It is nice, isn't it? But again, it's, it's to me at least, I don't know if it's the same to you guys once the video process is very dark. It's, it's a li I mean, I have the brightness up on my 3DS, but it's still kind of dark. Is the faceless woman in that mural over there Amara? No, that's the Holy Mother. She's the one who brought spirit channeling to Kurain. Yeah, it's different. Oh, right. The woman in the orb. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Same woman. Who's that? Is that Emma? Emma, is that you, darling? Yes, hello, babe. How are you? Hey, girl, I heard now you likes you. Listen, you could do worse. He's very handsome. Hi, Emma. We heard you'd give us a hand if we needed it. Emma? All I'm gonna say to you is, I am not doing any dusting for nothing. Do you hear me? <laughs> we, we are not, we are not blowing any powder today, I hope. Because I don't have the breath to do it at all. Yeah, Mr. Edgeworth asked me to help where I could. So, it's been quite a while since you've been back in Kurain, I hear. Yeah, more than ten years, in fact. Dang, it's been that long, shit. I guess they said that before. Well, you sure didn't waste any time, I mean... You're already mixed up in a murder. Listen, Emma, you should know him better than anyone. Anywhere we go, there's trouble. <laughs> I really think it's us at this point that curse everyone else around us. Phoenix and Apollo and like everyone gets cursed. <laughs> Literally, when they just walk anywhere. You're as big a trouble, Magna, as Mr. Wright. Oh, I just literally just said that. Emma, why, why are you me? <laughs> Please don't say that. My luck's already bad enough as it is. Oh, I don't know. I think you're kind of lucky, actually, in a way. Emma, I hear Prosecutor Sabmati has requested your service again. Well, he seems to really have taken a liking to you. Oh, girl, you want to talk about that? I do. You mean his ephemeral holiness? Ugh. Oh, she doesn't like it. Oh, no. Girl, it's okay. Listen, I do that with the snacks, too. I don't mind that he approves of me and my abilities. Oh, it's just... His people skills need some serious work. But well, I can only imagine. Does he even say anything to you or does he just stand there? <laughs> just questions that I have. But when he manages a smile and compliments my work, it's hard to say no. Yeah, that's, that's the curse of the beautiful folk. All they have to do is stand there and smile, literally. Plus, working on investment. Whoa, why did that go so fast? But flying back and forth between here. Whoa, 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 hello? It's been tough and the lack of sleep's been brutal on my skin. To make matters worse, the defendant in this case is someone I know. I mean, how could this get any worse? Oh, sorry, this is one of those things where she's talking like old baggage just goes crazy. Sorry, I missed some of it because I didn't think that would happen. 
Sounds like they've got one complicated prosecutor-detective relationship going on. You think? Girl, he's hot though, right? Maybe you can fix him. Listen, I don't know. Don't do that. Don't try to fix people, guys. That's bad advice. Don't listen to me. Don't actually do that. It was just a joke. You shouldn't have to fix anyone. All right, so here we go. Let us talk to Emma. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff. So the incident, start there. Emma, have you determined the cause of death? Blood loss from a stab wound. A single stab in the back was enough to cause the victim to bleed to death. It's hard to see his position in this image, but I believe that's like his arm on the bottom right and his head, the back of his head facing us. So his back is up. That's what it looks like to me. But again, it's dark. The estimated time of death is 3 p.m., which is when Dirk came onto the scene. All right, Inga's autopsy report. We'll have to have a look at that. Staff from behind. Cause of death is blood loss. Time of death is approximately 3 p.m. Right, okay. Any suspects besides Dirk? No. He, Maya, and the minister were the only ones here. And Maya had been tied up until she was freed by the Queen's Royal Guard. Could someone have been hiding somewhere in here? Well, not likely. I was told this tomb was searched from top to bottom right after the murder. And during that time, the Royal Guard set up a perimeter to prevent anyone from escaping. Okay, so it doesn't seem like it. Well, in other words, the crime scene was completely sealed off? Are we sure about that? It would appear so. No way for a third party to escape without being spotted, so... Great. It's another one of those convoluted locked room mysteries. Yeah, we've had our share of those, haven't we? It's not the first time. Alright, the victim. Let's do it. About the victim, Minister Inga. He was the Kingdom's Minister of Justice, correct? Yes. Inga Karkul Kurein was the second most powerful figure in Kurein. Plus, he was married to the Queen. Seems strange that someone of his status would abduct someone. Well, apparently, he only told a few of his most loyal subordinates about his plan. That way, there was little chance of the police or even the Queen finding out. What was Inga hoping to gain by getting his hands on the orb? Well, that I don't know, but I'm working on it. I hope we find something. Sheesh. I wonder if it really was for what politicians said. I don't know if we can trust anything that guy said, though, for real. I mean, does he even know? He could have been just told any bullshit story. He was obviously just the pawn. Oh, I must deliver it to my benefactor at all costs. What do they want that relic for anyway? <laughs> it's something to do with an old legend. My patron seeks the great power said to be granted to whoever solves its secret. I mean, it seems like that could be the case. I don't know, are they really just banking on that though? On a legend? great power that is said to be bestowed on whoever solves the orb's secret. Well, in Kurain, only those who can channel spirits are said to be fit to rule. Was that why Inga wanted such a power? Did he want to be king? I don't know, but the fact that Maya's involved in it is not a coincidence by any shot, and I'm really already- my gears are starting to turn. Can you hear them? They're smoking up there. So this is the tomb of the previous queen? Yes. Queen Amara was laid to rest here. She lost her life in an arsonist blaze. What a tragic end. I heard this tomb sits on the actual site of a residence before it was burned down. They built it on the same spot, so her soul could rest in peace. So this is where the fire happened. Okay, interesting. Well, why do you think Minister Inga was holding Miss Fay captive here? It's the perfect spot if you think about it. It's close to his private quarters, which made it easy to keep an eye on his prisoner. And the courtyard is only open to the royal family, so he had little fear of prying eyes. Plus, the tomb is normally locked, and only the royal family is allowed access. I see. Well, so that's why he picked this place. Seems like. How long had Miss Faye been held captive? Oh, about six days. Holy crap! Poor Maya! Jeez! That long? It appears that she was severely weakened by her prolonged confinement. I'll say. I hope they took some kind of care of her. She passed out as soon as she was freed and is now on an IV drip at the hospital. Oh, jeez. I hope she's gonna be okay. That's terrible. She's been asleep ever since. 
Poor thing. Poor Miss Faye. I hope she gets better soon. Really? I, God damn, the curse I mentioned earlier. <laughs> like, everything be happening to these people. Emma, do you mind if we start looking around? Sure. I've already got the okay. Knock yourselves out. Oh, in here? What was that? A map, thank you. Very detailed. <laughs> Sarcophagus. It's a diagram the police drew of the tomb. Thought I'd give you a copy to help your investigation along. Thank you. I'll have a look at that. Alright, tomb diagram. A diagram of the crime scene of Mars sarcophagus is in the very center of the room. Right, alright. Thank you, Emma. Oh, and let me know if you need my forensic expertise. Well, for fuck's sake, I hope we don't. <laughs> no offense. I, I don't have it in me to blow stuff today. Don't you dare keep all the fun to yourselves, you hear? Girl, if there is anything fun going on in here, I will let you know. Immediately. You don't need to worry about that. Besides, I'd hardly classify this as fun. Listen, Emma has fun doing this. That's what she'd do. Uh, do we need to present anything to her? I don't think. But hang on. Let me just look at the things that we have received, because I always forget. It's, it's small. Same thing. May 18th, approximately 3 p.m. Cause of death. Blood loss from stab wound in the back. And we've got this thing. And the only thing I can notice about this is there's like a broken statue. On the top there, a couple of chairs and looks like a desk and a sarcophagus in a window. Okay. Right, all right. So, uh, huh. So we just examine stuff? Let's just examine stuff. Oh, oh, God. Could they have... I mean, they could have put the lights on in here, maybe, so I could see what I'm doing. Let's just start with the thing I can see, which is right here. Thank you. I could have used that zoom before. Apparently, they do a zoom in some of the newer... Like, do they do it in Grey's Ace Attorney? I think someone mentioned that to me, that they let you do a zoom on the examination field. Man, that's very helpful. I'm glad to hear that. Could use that right now, though. It looks like the Holy Mother was painted here to watch over Amara's sarcophagus. So it's like this tomb is protected by the founder? Oh, sorry. That was Athena. I'm sorry. That must be so reassuring to those she left behind. Only one problem. They didn't paint the eyes she needs to do said watching. You can't. She can watch without them. Can't do that. All right. Come to think of it, she doesn't have a mouth to smile down on the tomb with either. It's actually kind of creepy. Well, I wonder if being watched over by something like that gives the queen nightmares. Hey, keep that up and the founder just might come and watch over you too. Oh, scare her. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> what? I don't know. Uh, okay, let's, let's also look at this obvious thing that I can also see in here. So this is a Mars sarcophagus. Let's take a closer look. Yes, please. Zoom on in. Thank you. Now I can see it. All right, cool. So can we just look at all parts or no? It just looks like we can... Not even this part? Oh, just this, I guess. Hey, these curtains open, Apollo. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't want the curse of anything crazy in here. Are we supposed to do this? Oh, okay, we just did it. Uh, was that okay to touch this? Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, well, it's too late now. That's one big sarcophagus. They say that the mummy of Amara, the former queen, rests inside. Emma, you're still here? What, are you breathing down my neck? A mummy, huh? Rats, it's locked. Who tries to open a sarcophagus? What the shit, Apollo? No! You don't open that stuff! What? Hey, don't touch that. You mean we can't search inside? Not a chance. Besides, it's not something anyone would try opening anyway. What if the real killer's in there? Hey, anyone in there? Oh my god, they're banging on it! Oh my god! Don't do that. You're gonna get us cursed. Seriously, who would do that? C cursed God, this is like so Scooby-Doo. <laughs> the queen likely bears a grudge towards living after a, such a violent, painful death. So no one dares touch the sarcophagus for fear of incurring her wrath. Good job, guys. You did it. Good for you. Oh no, Apollo. What am I going to do? Don't look at me. You both touched it. You're both in trouble. In any case... The sarcophagus is temperature controlled. It's kept really cold to preserve the mummy. That makes sense. So, even if someone did decide to hide inside there, they would eventually freeze to death. I see. Still, if they bundled up, I bet a person could hide in there for a little while. Why was that a ding? Why did we ding on that statement? It's a bit weird, isn't it? The fuck? 
All right, fine. Uh, is there anything else I can look at here? I can't see very well indeed. So no, it looks like that's it, right? I'm just going around to make sure, because again, it's very dark on my screen. Uh, no, I think we're okay. All right, back up. Here we go. All right, okay. So I I'm just gonna put the this around and see what we can find. Oh, see, I didn't even see that there. I didn't even see this damn thing. <laughs> Just put it on the wall. All right, fine. That works for me. It's full of ash. They must burn incense in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, an incense burner. They stick the sticks in the um, in the ash upright. I've seen it in Japan. So I was wondering, Apollo, did the ash come from the incense sticks that were burned in this, or do people put their incense in after there was already ash in here to hold them up? I think both. A little bit of both. Don't be silly. The answer's simple. The ash is the product of prayers from the countless visitors who come here. It's not a chicken or the egg kind of thing. Well, they just said that this isn't like a tourist attraction. They just said just the royal family comes here. So it's probably not cleaned out very much. Oh, that's an interesting take on it. It's so much more poetic than mine. What are these two talking about? <laughs> okay, what, 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 what in the world? Okay, so if there's one there, there must be one over here. I can, now that I'm looking, I can faintly make it out. Kind of see it. It's full of ash. I guess it would be this is an incense burner. Hey, look, Apollo. There's something in the ashes. Wait, why wouldn't why wouldn't they zoom in on that to show it? Really? They zoomed in on the one that didn't have anything. I guess they didn't want to render it. Let's see what it is. Careful digging around in there. Oh, never mind. I, I lied. We, we, we're fine. I was like, wait, maybe they just didn't want to do it? I don't know. Ooh, what's that? It's pretty. Is that a gemstone? I wonder what it's doing here. Hmm. <laughs> I've got this one covered, Apollo. Would you like to hear my brilliant theory? I would love to. Well, I, I guess it wouldn't do any harm. You sure about that? You know how people make wishes by throwing coins into a fountain, right? Well, you know, on second thought, I'm good. Whoa, wait. You sure you don't need to hear my theory? I was just about to get to the good part. Let's just ask Emma. That'll be much quicker. Oh man, rude. Excuse me, Emma, what's this gemstone doing here? Oh, that. You know, we just picked it up. It was probably evidence and we just like, just, you know, disrupted the scene. As usual, we always do that. Oh, that's where I'd seen it from. I thought that it looked a little familiar. Like we've seen it, surely. It's not a gem, it's a button. Albeit a very expensive one from the victim's jacket. How did it get all the way over there? Must have fallen off and gotten in there somehow. Huh. Where was he even killed? We don't have a chalk outline in here or anything, or if we do, I haven't seen it. See? Every puzzle has an answer, Athena. Oh, well, I thought my idea was pretty good. Wait, what's with the soot? See here, on the gemstone. Hey, you're right. Uh, I thought it was because it was in the ash pile. Wait, no? Oh, Ingus button discovered in the ashes of the two men's sense caked in soot. Isn't that the same thing? I guess not. That's a bit odd. Why would it, why, mm, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be the, it, okay. You know what, I'm not gonna overthink it. <laughs> this is fine. Uh, okay, here's like the, are the statues all one piece? Let's take a look. There's a row of them. Look, one of the statues is broken. Oh, that's the broken one over there. Yeah, but it's kind of hard to see from here. Sure is. Let's check it out when we get a little closer. Okay, do, do you, do you, oh, well, I guess they mean turn. Well, for, all right, first of all, let's just do everything on this side before we turn around. It's like a small army of monks, all neatly lined up. It looks like they're facing the sarcophagus in prayer. Well, if you look carefully, each one has a slightly different expression. Really? I cannot see that. Can you? I wonder if they use real people as models. Well, some are frowning, some are smiling, huh? Oh, there's one that looks like he's trying his hardest not to burst out laughing. Really? I wonder why. Well, maybe it's like those times when things are so intense, you can't help but laugh. You know, like at funerals and stuff. Girl, don't, can you stop being me, please? But it's embarrassing. <laughs> they went through all the trouble of depicting that? Talking about going overboard. Listen, it's not that bad. All right, fine. Uh, anything up here? Yes, there's like a mural or something? What is this? There's a painting up there, but I can't see it very well from here. Oh good, it's not just me. <laughs> I just feel blind as anything, just going around here. Okay, this one is also 
Anything else? I'm just looking around to see if we've missed anything. Anything that has... Nope. No, no, okay. Uh... Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. I didn't mean to do that. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, right, okay. So how do we... How do we go and look at it closely? I can't see the broken one is the problem. Is it this? Look, one of the statues is broken. It's hard to see. Let's check it out when we get a little closer. Yeah, okay. I, w I would I would love to, I would love to. See the arrows are there, but then they go away. Did you guys see that? Did it want me to click Oh wait. You have to have it like <laughs> The arrows on the side of the screen are like not not cooperating. It's weird. Is it just me? All right. You know what? <laughs> I want to get a little closer. How do I get close? It's not letting me. Oh, it came it came back up and then it left again. I don't like when, the, I don't like when it has these limitations. When you can't fucking like get you, you go too far on the side and then it won't let you scroll. That's already happened once, I think. Yeah, no, that's really strange. It seems to come up after I click it, so let's give it a try. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Thank you. That was weird. Oh, there's like there. Oh, there's five million. Oh, here's the thing. Okay, I was like, we're miss. We're clearly missing a lot. <laughs> it took me a minute, so I should have gone the other way. Is what I should have done. I think what you have to do is just let it sit still, and then. Uh, so hang on. So if I go this way, where's the broken one? I really want to see it up close. How do I? No. All right. Well, we'll just start here then. Do what we gotta do. The sarcophagus is surrounded by a curtain. I bet someone could have hidden behind it. True, but that's one of the many places in the Royal Guard checked after storming in. So they didn't find anything there. Wow, they were really thorough. Yeah, well, apparently. One of their members loved mystery novels. He peered into every nook and cranny with an almost frightening amount of gusto. And when he was done, he said... Very interesting. <laughs> it's like one of those locked room mysteries. Sounds like he's in the wrong line of work. Well, a little bit. Listen, it happens. All right, well, we found this at least. I still need to find the broken statue. I really can't see the difference between them with this lighting. <laughs> Guess this is where Inga collapsed when he died. Better take a closer look. Zoom in on that. There we go. Oh, there's a lot here. Okay, obviously this. The murder weapon. So, this is the murder weapon? Emma, did you find any prints on it? Did you? <laughs> oh my god, it's hard. <laughs> oh gosh. Whatever. Some people like sneezes. Yeah, and they were super clear. They belong to one Dirk Sadmahade. That's not good. Were there any others? Well, there was one more print from another individual. But it was too smudged to identify. It's probably an old print from someone else who had handled the knife. And another piece of unhelpful info to add. That is bad. That's it, like that's bad as hell. <laughs> like, all right, what's this? I wonder if this is Inga's cell phone. Oh, it's a phone, y'all. From here, it looked like a goddamn mousetrap. I wasn't even sure what it was. Man, can they? Can we put some lights on in here? It should be. His fingerprints are all over it. Do you know if he talked with anyone recently? Well, there were a few calls logged between him and his underlings. They're all members of the secret police, who were directly under the minister's control. Well, you mean like spies? I don't think that's quite it. Oh, no, it probably is though. Listen, this guy's clearly doing some shady business, okay? We know, we know that it's true. So the minister was armed, huh? Looks like, uh-huh, that's a four-shot pistol. He had it for self-defense, apparently. But it won't be firing anything anytime soon. Huh? He was carrying a broken gun around for show? No, we recovered a bullet here. Which means the gun probably broke as the minister fired its last round. Oh. Thing is, the gun's chambers are all empty. Yet, yeah, that one bullet is the only bullet we could find. That is strange. Where'd the other three go? I don't know, is this some kind of like weird roulette thing or something? Maybe Dirk ate them. We can ask the next time we see him. Just be ready for his predictably shocking answer. 
Listen, that man probably does eat bullets, all right? Let's just be honest. You've seen him. He's daddy as hell. They've already taken the body away. It's kind of sad how familiar I've become with body outlines. It's true, isn't it? I have a photo of the body if you're interested. Yes, please. There it is. He was stabbed right in the back. The poor guy was practically skewered. What's he wearing on his arms? Those are the cuffs of justice. Seems to be a tradition here for the Minister of Justice to wear these forearm cuffs. We've seen him with them before. I believe. They look like they're made of a thick fabric. Oh, sorry, that's Paulo. They look like they're made of a thick fabric, so I guess they aren't for protection. No, it seems just like a ritual thing. Maybe they're for keeping his sleeves out of the way when handling documents. Yeah, that's probably their original purpose. But over the years, the reason for wearing them was probably forgotten. So now they're just one of many traditional things that people do without knowing why. That's true, we got a lot of those. Oh, I get it. Kind of like the way you roll up your sleeves, huh? Or your psychology, if we're going there. Well, I happen to know why I started, thank you very much. <laughs> Rude. Tomb crime photo of photo Vinga's body. He was stabbed in the back with a knife, alright? Thank you. Now then, uh, anything else here? Again, it's dark, so I'm just gonna be doing some double checking because uh, my eyesight is not so great. So, okay, so if we look at the, the statues now, I know it's on the other side, but what happens? Now, this is the same, okay. Sorry, this was long ass dialogue. Oh my god. <laughs> it's one of those days. All right, fine. So have we looked at everything in here? Painting is here. Oh no, we can look at the painting once more because we weren't close to it before. There we go. Is this supposed to be... Oh, sorry, it's Athena, damn it! Is this supposed to be Amara channeling a spirit? It looks like the spirit of some country sultan or something. And she seems to be conveying something to his retainers. Interesting, oh, look at that. It's so dim in here! <laughs> Jeez! She's on fire! This girl is on fire! This must be Amara's assassination as allegedly carried out by Dirk. That's terrifying. They really made him look evil. What's this? This is the weirdest one of all. Is that supposed to be Dirk facing his punishment in the afterlife? Anyway, huh? Well, I guess that's the last one. All right, well, we'll have to look at the other side and see if there's anything there. Oh, I guess we're supposed to see this as a happy ending. Yeah, except nobody came out of this story happy. Jeez. Oh, Right, okay. Uh, again, I'm just doing a quick sweep. Making sure that we are good here. Anything else? Oh, what's over here? This is the grape juice Ingo was drinking. Oh, it's juice. I thought it was wine. It probably is in the, in the translation, right? Juice. He was probably nervous before his meeting with Zerk. It's probably wine in Japanese, I'm sure. So he drank grape juice? I'm not seeing the logic here. Mr. Wright told me all about it when he was hospitalized a few years ago. He said grape juice has something in it that helps you relax. Really? Um, are you sure he was talking about regular, plain old grape juice and not wine? Which is also made from grapes? You know? Because it sounds like he was talking about the fermented variety. Yep. No, he couldn't have meant that. I mean, we were talking about a medical facility. They wouldn't have allowed something like that in. Alright. Well, let's just leave it at that. Athena, why are we, why are we the same person? Question must be asked. All right, fine. So let's go around this way then, and then go around once more. Maybe we can look at it from over here. Okay, I'm. I think I can kind of see it a little bit. Maybe. Maybe not though, because this doesn't have any examine on it. Oh well, this does right here. Is that where it is? One of the statues is broken. Let's take a closer look. Thank you. Okay, now I can see it. Like, okay, this this is like this is very dark. It's like as dark as anything. What's this here? It's a Magatama. I can see that. It's a Magatama, I think. Did it come from a broken statue? Look, Apollo, there's another one. Where are they? Are they wearing them? Oh, they, they certainly are. But the other statues only have one each. Hey, you're right. Maybe this statue is special or something. Or maybe that belongs to somebody. Are we going to pick it up? I, I guess not. It's right here, by the way. I see it now. All right. This thing's more splinter than statue now. 
bullet from the victim's gun did a real number on it. Oh, of course. Seems like something you get cursed for, you know? In Minister Inga's case, I'd say getting your ticket punched is curse enough. Yeah, but don't curses extend to the afterlife? You need to stop talking, <laughs> taking what Nayu just says to you so seriously. Well, I'm perfectly capable of thinking for myself. Sure about that? Okay. So wait, is there a, what's, is there a, oh, here. Wait, there's a couple of little things here. Okay, I really gotta squint, holy shit. Look, there's a bullet here. It's from the pistol the victim was carrying. My guess is he tried to shoot his attacker but missed, and the bullet ended up here. We've already determined the rifling marks to be a match to his gun. Rifling marks? Aren't those... Oh ho, shall I explain? The science behind it is absolutely fascinating. We know. I know. No, 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 we're good. Oh, lawyers think they're so smart. I do realize we can hear you. God, everyone's so sassy today. Well, all right, what's this is like King's Quest now. What's this sparkly thing? Huh? There's something shiny down there. What's that? It's a pendant. That's pretty. Who does that belong to, I wonder? There's blood on it. I wonder who it belongs to. All we know is it's not the victims. No one in the royal family recognized it. Oh, true? Emma, did you lift any fingerprints from it? I did, but... I wasn't able to get a clean one. That's too bad. But the blood turned out to be the victims. That means it must have fallen here in the course of the murder. It might be Dirk's. I should ask him about it later. Alright. Pink butterfly pendant. The pendant adorned with a pink butterfly. The fingerprint is yet to be analyzed, but the blood belongs to Inga. Right, okay. Uh, is that everything here? Just take a quick sweep. It's really cool, kind of, how you can move it a little bit. I'm actually, like this, like, that's pretty nice, actually. I like that. Right, okay, so can we look at the... Oh, we can look at the curtains from this way, too. Let's do it. Wow, it's covered in blood. With a blood splatter this large, it must have gotten all over the killer, too. Come to think of it, Dirk was covered in blood, wasn't he? We saw it in the image. There was blood on Dirk's clothes. We did see that. The circumstantial evidence points to Dirk being the killer. That's what I'd conclude if I were a cop, too. Why are things always so bleak for me? Because you hang out with Mr. Phoenix, right? To be fair, looking at this, I didn't even see the blood at first. It took me a minute. Holy shit, here's a chair. It's a chair. Miss Faye was apparently tied to this chair. Let's take a closer look. Oh, oops, I was... Okay, that's fine. I was gonna look at the paintings, but we can do that after. We should try to cover every angle possible here. Slide the touch screen. Thank you, Apollo. Or use the circle pad to look around carefully in this area. Thank you. Well, let's just look at the front first. Poor Miss Faye. She must have been tied up to this chair. Oh, I can just imagine how her backside must have hurt after sitting here for so long. It would have been torture for you, I bet. I mean, you don't know how to sit still. If by that you mean I like to stay active, then I have to agree with you. Right, okay. Uh, okay, so that's just the chair itself. And the rope? I bet you didn't know, but I happen to be a bit of an escape artist myself. Trucy showed me how to do a rope escape trick. Uh-huh. Why would you bother learning something like that? Well, because we're always getting into trouble when working cases with Mr. Wright. True. They probably will come in handy. So I thought it might come in handy someday. Well, I guess you're right about that. Miss Faye could have definitely used that knowledge. That's what I'm saying. That's right. So now you just sit right here and we'll get started. What in the world gave you the idea I wanted to learn? All right, guys. Every, everyone, all right, everyone, everyone, calm down, please. All right, look at every angle. It said, "I'm scrolling." It doesn't go too far, does it? Not too, too much. Oh, blood right here. I see it. It's small. Let me see if I can. Hello. Okay. <laughs> this is my. Uh, there we go. Look, there's a blood stain on the chair legs see it. Really? Hey, you're right. I completely missed it. Let's move the chair so we can check under it. Alright, do that. What have we got? There's more blood under the chair. Huh. I wonder what it's doing there. I have some luminol here. Why don't you do some testing? Madam, I just told you that I did not want to do that. 
right, fine. <laughs> the, the, the luminol is not is not too bad. It's not as bad as you know. Okay, or maybe as I say that. There it is. Oh God, who did that? Someone scoot all over the floor. Look, who did it? Oh, that it has a trail. Surely, okay. Wait, we didn't spray all that way, did we? Well, I guess we did. I don't like the luminol view. It's even worse for my eyeballs. <laughs> it's like a horror movie in here. The blood stain leads all the way to the sarcophagus. Oh, I am so worried about this, guys. I, do I tell you my initial thoughts or do I keep them? Emma, is this Minister Inga's blood? Hold on one second. I bet it's not. Huh? That's strange. I didn't get a match. So then, whose blood is it? Dirk and Miss Faye weren't wounded as far as we know. And the blood's been wiped up by someone for some reason. Yeah, that's strange too. Oh, guys, I have such a bad feeling about this. <gasps> I have such a bad feeling about this. Please tell me Maya didn't channel her. Oh, no. Unidentified bloodstain from Amara's tomb. It was already wiped up and does not belong to the victim. Right, okay. Now what? All right, are we done here or is that is that everything? I'm just doing a sweep. Doing my, my, my big old sweep. Okay. Uh, right, okay. I think, we, I think we're good. Right, so what haven't we looked at? Oh, the paintings, of course. I think we have to look at, the, at this side here. Probably says more, right? Let's look. Yeah, they do. A baby on a lotus blossom? That's one strange painting. Well, apparently that's part of a mural depicting the life and time of Queen Amara. You know, like a storyboard or something. So, that baby's supposed to be Amara? Oh. This one depicts Amara preaching to the faithful. It's hard to put into words, but I've never seen anything like it. How can you see it at all? It's pitch black in here. Let's see, the next one is... Is that Dirk? Why does he have horns? Well, my best guess is it depicts the first time Amara and Dirk met. Probably because he was her consort, it was not, it was probably frowned upon, right? Because he's not royalty for one. I'm assuming that's what it was, frowned upon in society. So he's supposed to be some kind of demon who's seducing her? Well, he was successful since they got married after that. I'm sure that caused a big ass uproar. The mural continues on the opposite wall. Yeah, we already looked at that though, did we not? All right, cool, so what are we missing here? Are we good? Um, maybe I have to, oh, what's this over here? Someone could have hid behind these curtains. Here, I'll go give it a try. I didn't even see curtains over there, girls. I just saw a wall. Anything there? Well, can you tell I'm hiding here? No, I can't tell at all. That's it, that's the perfect hiding place. We did it, Apollo, we solved the case. What? How? No one saw anyone going around. Sorry to burst your bubble, but the Royal Guard searched the tomb high and low right after they stormed in. And they said no one else was in here besides Minister Inga, Dirk, and Miss Faye. Well, back to the drawing board, I guess. Well, we tried it. Oh, my brilliant deduction. Destroyed in three sentences. Girl, it's fine. Did we do it? Are we good? Oh, good. I think we got everything. I think we've covered just about everything. Maybe we should go over what we've learned so far. Um, okay. For starters, we're dealing with a locked room murder. But instead of the tomb being locked, it was being cordoned off by the Royal Guard. And after the murder, no one was found to be hiding inside. Right. In addition, we also know that Dirk's fingerprints are all over the murder weapon. The curtain around the sarcophagus was drenched in the victim's blood on one side. The blood must have also gotten on the killer when they stabbed the minister from behind. Dirk had blood on him when the crime was first discovered. Unfortunately, he doesn't remember what happened. Hmm, this is curious. 
I really still think about that thing I said earlier, but how does it fit in? I have no idea, and I don't even know if it really does. But I just have, I have a bad feeling. This is not good. So you're telling me. So, what we know so far is, the things couldn't be worse for our case. And that's still an understatement somehow. Yep. Th yes. That's how we operate here. <laughs> yeah, it's looking pretty grim. Well, shit, what do we do? Oh, uh, if you two are done here, I'll have to ask you to leave. Go on, Scoot, what happened? Are you in trouble? Something wrong, Emma? Why are you trying to give us the boot? It, it's just easier if you're not here when his ephemeral holiness arrives. Oh, you mean Nayuta? Ah! Uh, oh, is he here? Hello, sweetheart, how are you? You know, you could smile more. I know you're not supposed to say that to someone because it's kind of rude, but really, could you use some favors? Your smile is really cute. Speak of the devil. Um, we're not doing anything, we're just leaving. Prosecutor said Mari. Detective Skye, it seems you've spoken at length with these two lawyers. I do hope you've also kept an eye on them. Yes, she did. Yes, of course, like a hawk. They didn't touch a single thing. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we touched a chair. Oh, and the curtains, and we also tried to open the sarcophagus, Nayuta. What do you think about that? Give a lawyer an inch and they'll take a mile. Never forget that. There's that look of distrust again. Hey, Nayuta, do you really believe that Dirk's guilty? Do you? You probably won't even say. And are you seriously going to prosecute this case? I mean, he's your father. You were once part of the Defiant Dragons, weren't you? Well, he probably doesn't want to talk about none of that. And so he won't. Cool. Okay, bye. <laughs> hey, now you to wait. Come on, Athena, after him. Huh? Oh, 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 right behind you. Okay, bye, Emma. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go follow Nayuta, tell him how handsome he is a little bit more and have him ignore us. <laughs> and then we will see uh, what, what else we can find out. It's not looking good, is it? Not at all. But hopefully we'll figure something out. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Thank you so much for being so patient over these last few bits. Uh, my voice is, is better today, so I hope this was a good episode for you. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Toodaloo!